You're listening to KYST 89.3, The Bowl. The Bowl. The Bowl. And now time for South Tucson Youth Football. Simulcast on AM 1400, The Growler. And on South Tucson Local Access Channel 22. And you are looking live at Municipal Field number 127. It's the second quarterfinal of the 2017-18 South Tucson Youth Football Playoffs. It's our second game of our doubleheader here tonight. Twin Towers Construction, the home team. The three seed coming out of the Blue Collar Conference in the black and blue. Kicking off left to right to Ted's Baby Clothes Emporium, the number six seed. Personal foul. Out of the CSC, Face the man. Child Services Defense. Conference. Still first down. And they are one of four teams out of the CSC in this playoffs. And all four still alive right now. Both Ted's and 1-800-BIADAD. Won their first round games. That's Nitro Shaggy with a nine yard catch. Thrown by Jonas Brothers. His first play from scrimmage. Nine yard pass, second and one. Already over the 50. Six yards up the middle for Nitro Shaggy. First down. One of the star players of Ted's. Ted's, you know, went the first six games of the season undefeated. They went seven and three in the regular season. Lost three of their last four games. Missed out on the conference championship game. That ended up being Bully Factory and You Need a Clown. What we're seeing right now is that potentially, if the right results happen, the semifinals could be all teams from the same conference. You Need a Clown have already knocked off Flappy Pappies. <clears throat> Almost picked off Shedrick Douglas. Not to be confused with Frederick. <laughs> Batting that one out of the air. Flag on the play, fourth and seven. Foul, the passer, but it's going to be a first and ten after Jim Price makes the mistake of roughing the passer. Still first down. Catch is made, Emmanuel Weeks, 11 yards, first and goal for Ted's. And we are seeing Ted's baby close Emporium. Again, a six seed, a six seed. They took out the 11 seed, the creamy surprise in the first round. And they scored 28 to 21, big stop by Clark East, a sack of Jonas Brothers. Second and goal. And again, Ted's a team that's been around the top of the of the standings, of the rankings. You know, they opened up uh, they were second, uh, ranked number two. And then number one, lost their first game, back down to two, dropped to four after losing uh, their second game. And they stuck around there, but again, they were just passed by other teams. 
and they ended up falling out of the top four and losing that losing that uh that auto that uh that that first round buy didn't matter and nitro shaggy of course with the touchdown to get things started on the opening drive ted's up seven nothing with two minutes passed so far that first drive took a minute 58 See what Twin Towers can do. Jamiroquai James swarmed in the backfield. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. Be Carl Neely with a 10-yard catch. Right up the middle thrown by Ernest Clayton. His first one. 10 yards, but they're going to spot him just short of the first down marker. Clayton using that shotgun formation. Shotgun snap. He's going to have to drop back too far. Over, throws it. He had a receiver on the move. Did not time it well. It's fourth and inches. And it looks like they're going to go for it. Up the middle, yep, they're gonna give it to Jameer Quiet James for a progression, get some two yards, and a first down. <laughs> Interesting little stat, you need a clown. Have actually played both of these teams. They will meet in the semifinals. And Unita Clown has played both these teams. They played Ted's Baby Clothes Emporium in the uh, in the regular season. Beat Ted's Baby Clothes by a score of 49 to 28. Played Twin Towers in the first game of the season. Lost by a score of 49-45. So, whatever we see. In this game, our semifinal will be a rematch between You Need a Clown and the winner of this game. You know, some of the pundits have been saying as Ted's is back on the march, first and ten. You know, the game that, that people were really wanting to see was out of the CSC. It was Ted's versus Moist Adventures. Those two teams were, were trading one and two for a while this season, but they were not on each other's schedule. They're cross divisional rivals and would have been the conference championship, and then they both faltered. Maybe we can possibly see it as a championship game. I mean, it's definitely possible. There's third and nine. A lot of time to throw. Jonas Brothers. Oh, missing the pass. Had the receiver, was on target, couldn't hold on to it. Well defended, and here comes the punter. That ball's just going to die at the 42. It, it dribbles to the 50, takes a pathetic bounce, and there it is. What that means is not the worst field position for, for Twin Towers. Clayton with the hand up to Jameer Kai James. He's tackled, losing three almost immediately. Yeah. 
tackles him for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Incomplete. Clayton throwing it. No one there. Fourth and 13. A quick three and out. Forced by Ted's. And that is a thing. The defense coming in huge for them. You know, you look at what Twin Towers have done. And it's mostly just score in high amounts. <clears throat> Their two losses this season were when they scored less than 24 points. 16 scored against Captain Chucks in a loss. 17 scored in a loss to Rusty Pipe Job Plumbing. So, so far, they've got a zero on the board. And Ted's happy to take that 7-0 after one. Ted's, their only losses are when opponents have scored uh, I know no, that doesn't work that one doesn't work so well darn it Jonas Brothers trying to just work his way to that that line of scrimmage and the first down marker it's going to be third and two had his own interesting thing. Uh, the defensive lineman used his own blocker as as defense. Well done, I guess. But Emmanuel Weeks is going to get an 11-yard catch and pull it down. First down. First down. short of the goal line but gets the first down first and goal from less than a yard away and it's Zachary Maxey the backup running back up the middle Ooh. Thank you to Leg Kick TKO for the sub. And Craig Forever, of course. Uh, two months sub before we went live. Uh, Leg Kick TKO, good, good pal of ours. I say ours like it's more than just me, really, at this point. Good pal of mine. She's uh, definitely helped out with a lot of behind the scenes planning for some stuff that's yet to come. Personal foul. But a four month Basement. sub. Thank you, thank you. Defense. And Cedric Nobles Still called for down. the penalty. Gonna be first and down, Twin Towers. Up to the uh well the four drone forty eight. Sorry, forty nine. Clayton incomplete pass over through that one. The intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Third and ten. Twin Towers even having trouble getting over their own fifty. Jones with the reception. That's a gain of six on the play. 
That makes it fourth and four. And they fake the punt. A lot of time to throw. <laughs> no one there. Abraham Torres, the punter. Basically giving it away to Ted's. You know what? I give him credit for the fake punt, but it didn't work. So, the crowd is really laying into that poor child who has to punt. Shaggy and work his way up to the oh, just short of the first down marker. Do they go for it? I think they are. Oh no, they're not going to. They're going to punt this one away. Really pin back Twin Towers. And why not? They've been able to stop him so well. Punt is high all the way inside the 20. Oh! Oh, Jonathan Eaton just landed on his dome. Just shoved to the ground. Does a 180 on that tackle. Play by Jameer Clyde James, the biggest play for Twin Towers so far in this game. 22 yards up the left side. Defense. Rod Kroll called for the penalty. Automatic first down. And again, you can feel maybe the tide turning a little bit. Twin Towers. It's two big runs. And they are over the 50. They were before. They had the close to the 15, uh, close to the first down. Clayton to Antone Salas for a five yard catch. He's tiptoeing to stay in bounds, lost his balance. These poor kids and their uh, <coughs> lack of motor skills. Balance is an issue, so these are good drills for them. A lot of time for Clayton. Batted away in the end zone. Incomplete, third and five. This time it's caught by Obadiah Manson. Touchdown, Twin Towers. This crowd back on their feet. Extra point, it is now 14-7. Twin Towers back in this game. 140 to go in this first half. Flag on the return. Personal foul. Face mask. And that is not gonna help matters. Babatunde Haynes with called with the penalty. Still first down. Makes the reception. 
Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. Look at this, fourth and six. Twin Towers have a chance to tie this up going into the half. They're going to get the ball back with a lot of time. I guess Ted's is going to milk this clock what they can. Towers, 27 seconds ago from the from the 50 yard line. They don't have a chance. They could tie this up. Clayton looking to throw. We've got a receiver. Neil McCormick gets seven yards, and they call a timeout, stopping the clock. 22 seconds to go. Incomplete. Third and three. That could have been a dangerous, uh, dangerous pass. Would have been possibly picked off. It was thrown to like a crowd of like five people, like five yards away. <laughs> they look to go far, but he's sacked. Loss of eight and Ted's on the punt. We'll call their timeout. We're gonna force Ted's to punt this. Uh, excuse me, Twin Towers to punt this. A little bit of gamesmanship going into the half. Zach Maxey, first catch, 14 yards. And he'll take it to the half. Well, it's a close one between the three seed and the six seed. Many saying these are two of the top three teams in South Tucson. Twin Towers Construction, Ted's Baby Clothes Emporium. <clears throat> With you need a clown waiting for the winner in the semifinals. Get things started in the second half. 
Ted's will kick off right to left to Twin Towers Construction. Taking it at the 20, all the way up to the 34. And gets stepped on his face, Jonathan Eaton, by a Ted's player, or at least had some dirt kicked in his face. That's wholly unnecessary. Wide James, 21 yards, get, breaks off for a huge run to get things started. This is a very different game of Twin Towers can open up with a score to tie this up. Not sure what's happening or Clayton has a receiver. It's frickin' Frank, 34 yards and a touchdown to tie things up 40 seconds into the second half. Mid-stroke has the wherewithal to throw it downfield. Face mask. Defense. Still first down. Now it's a matter of seeing how Ted can respond. Jonas Brothers starting off. For a first down, a lot of time to throw. He's going to the sideline, almost picked off. But Lee Fagan gets the two yards, a very dangerous, risky two yards. Inside the five, Clark East looking at his hands, screaming at him, saying, you did this, you did this. Strange that these kids taught to scream at their hands. But he broke up what would certainly have been a touchdown catch. Brothers, oh, missed play. Brothers on target that time. Receiver unable to, to catch it. Fourth and five, they're gonna go for it. This is a huge opportunity for Twin Towers to change the momentum of this game. It's caught! First down, Rufus Bauer gets 10 yards. First and 10 inside the 10. And a lot of hard work now has to be redone by Twin Towers to stop Ted's from scoring and answering right away. It's a short pass to Ramon Bowie. 
four yards. First time we heard that name. First catch of the game for Bowie. Brothers looking to the left side. Oh, batted out of the air from the corner of the end zone. Good thing, too. That was a well-covered pass. They are just reading these uh, these pass plays very well. Going to hand it off to Nitro Shaggy for a three-yard up-the-middle run. And I think they might have to kick the field goal. That is what they're doing. Look at about a 22-yard attempt for Ted's to regain the lead. It's good. It's only three, but it is enough to give him a lead. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. It's 17 to 14. Ted's baby close Emporium, the six seed over the three. Complete looking for the short pass. That makes it second and ten. Third and five. Defense really ramping up here. Back to Ted's, who completely stopped Stonewall. Twin Towers, and then they get a huge play. First and 10, the 47 yard line. That's good for a gain of 19 yards. 19 yards. Ted's looking to make it two for two as far as the CSC teams making the semifinals. It would be unprecedented if all four of them were to do it. First and goal. <clears throat> Ted's looking to take this one a little out of reach. And Jonas Brothers is going to rush it in for the touchdown. Keep it himself. 
13 seconds to go in the third quarter. Ted's taking a nine, soon to be 10 point lead. Gonna bring it into the third quarter. It's a 10 point game. The lower seed, I'm gonna pull off the upset. It's Ted's the six seed, 24. Twin Towers, the 14 seed, uh, the, the three seed, 14. <clears throat> Towers, a lot of time. Oh, they're sending three. Clayton has to get rid of it. Takes a hit in the process. And a rough one there. Huge play by Twin Towers, down to the 38. Third and two, this is the problem they've been having. They've just been stopped. Clayton's gonna take it himself. He's gonna get more than the first down. 3.30 to go. First and 10 from the 16 yard line. Clayton out of the shotgun. By James, 12 yards, bringing up fourth and six. This is a huge fourth down play. Twin Towers have to go for it. We're under three minutes to go. They're down two scores. This is, I, I wanna say this is the game. 
but it's going to make it much more difficult if they can convert here. Clayton, a lot of time to throw. Oh, it's into a receiver that had double coverage, and it's a turnover. Ted's take over with 2.34 to go. Second and six, under two minutes to go. Ted's looking to just drain this clock already down to three seconds from the play clock. They're gonna hand it off again. It's a first down for Nitro Shaggy. And Twin Towers forced to use their first timeout. It is looking like time is not going to be of the essence. It's going to look like, yep, Nitro Shaggy rushes for no yards that time. Second and ten, it's going to be Jonas Brothers taking it himself, ambling, stumbling into somebody, falling on his butt. And it is an 11-yard gain. Twin Towers out of timeouts. 1.38 to go. Shaggy for three. That'll bring this down to under a minute. And you can pretty much write this one off. <clears throat> the CSC is going to go two for two in the semifinals. They will guarantee a team in the finals as you need a clown. The seven seed are going to be doing battle with the six seed Ted's Baby Clothes Emporium. With a spot in the finals on the line. First down. Well, you need a clown. We're the winners. when they met in the regular season. But what will happen when they meet in the playoffs? The Child Services Conference is the dominant force so far in this playoff. Ted's Baby Clothes Emporium get the away win over Twin Towers Construction. The six seed beats the three by a score of 24 to 14. We'll see you tomorrow night with our other two quarterfinals as Moist Adventures Indoor Water Park take on Captain Chuck's Adventure Taxi and the Marmalade Shack, the number one team in all of South Tucson, take on the nine seed, 1-800-BUY-A-DAD. Until next time, I'm Brian Hughes. So long, Arizona.